All right, thought I'd show you this. I'm testing out a, the fit of an under quilt that I just finished making. It's a uh, one I did for the summertime and and maybe uh, late spring or springtime. It's a uh, I made it from the climate shield, 2.5 ounce per square yard climate shield. Got it from Dutch. He just started selling this uh, this week, and so I picked up some uh, some of that and some of his Argon 90 uh, fabric, uh, and I think it's the olive was the color. I think that's what this is. Anyway, I finished it up this, just this week, and um, I used some 1.9 ounce seal, some orange that I already had to make the channels for the for the suspension. And uh, just kind of out here today, seeing how it fits on my. This is my Blackbird XLC, and uh, I think it fits pretty good. Got it uh, snugged up all right. I might snug it up a little bit tighter. Uh, might shorten the suspension a little bit, just a fuzz, maybe an inch or two. But but it, actually, it fits pretty good. I think uh, covers well from my shoulder. Covers my shoulders all the way across. Uh, and it comes down to about about the calves uh, from the shoulders, just from the base of my neck to the to the uh, calves. It's uh, the dimensions are 40, right at 40, maybe 41 wide by 55 uh, long is the dimensions, and uh, it weighs right at 10 ounces, almost exactly 10 ounces. Uh, not in a stuff sack. I don't. I don't stuff it in a stuff sack. I just stuff them in the bottom of my pack when I'm packing them up. The quilts I do. But uh, so right at 10 ounces. So I think this will be nice for the summertime. I've got a a Greylock three for the winter from Jacks or Better, uh, and uh, it's only about 17 ounces. So it's not a bad one to carry even in the summer. But uh, it's it's pretty warm for the summertime even if I'm in it. So I was looking for something a little bit. Uh, cooler or not as warm so this is what it looks like on me or on my hammock uh, seems to fit pretty good and uh, give me just a second and I'll show you uh, some up close shots of it okay so this is a little bit closer shot uh, what I did along the each side as well as on the ends was I did a channel of the uh, of some 1.9 seal nylon that I had. I just folded it over, folded the ends over, and then folded it over and made a channel and sewed it in, sandwiched it in there with the uh, the fabric and the insulation when I sewed it all up, all of it up. And then I put these loops on the end so that I can run a small prussic from here to the main suspension. And that helps keep it a little bit tighter in the center. I know I've done that on my Greylock 3. And I think I think Suge did a video not too long ago that showed a similar setup on his because you'll get a sometimes you'll get a little sag here in the center as the as the quilt seems to drift along this uh, the shot core the channel it'll slide sometimes at night but uh, then I use a small a little bit lighter weight piece of shot cord on the end to bunch up the ends to kind of seal it up to keep the wind out but all right that's it. 2.5 ounce climate shield from Dutch wear as well as the Argon 90. I might could have gone with a little bit lighter fabric but I like this. It's nice and soft and a little bit a little bit more durable maybe than some of the super lightweight fabrics. Um, but that's the fit on my on my uh, Blackbird XLC. Um, so I think it's going to go well for the warmer weather times of the year. And uh, like I said, it only weighs about 10 ounces. So, hope to get some good use out of it. And hope you enjoy the video. See ya. Just thought I'd show real quick uh, what it looks like off the hammock. This is uh, the quilt disconnected from the hammock. For those that might not have seen one up close or, or done one before, it's just a rectangle. This is an easy, really an easy kind of a project to do. It's just uh, a rectangle with uh, some channels along each side for the shot cord on the sides another channel on each end for the uh, 
piece of shot cord to kind of bunch it up around the, the head and the foot end to seal it up, keep the wind out. And uh, really pretty easy to do. Uh, this one uh, only took me a couple of nights of, of sewing. I've got I've done a couple of other ones. Uh, I've got a five a five ounce per square yard climbing shield that I use in a little bit cooler weather. But then I, I don't use it that much anymore. I went to the Greylock, which is a down a down quilt, and really like it. But I didn't really want to go to the expense for a down summer quilt because I don't use that as much uh, as I do the winter one so wanted to kind of keep this pretty inexpensive and overall I think you know it's probably it's less than $50 definitely probably closer to in the 40 range uh, with the material and and um, I already had the shot cord so I didn't have to buy any shot cord but the fabric and the insulation I think ran me right around 40 bucks give or take so this is a pretty inexpensive uh, under quilt I would say for the I guess a one season. So there you go.